In the last video we looked at unit testing and JUnit and uh, started talking about how we could do unit testing of our code using JUnit. We wrote our test array stack and put some methods in here. I went further so I've added in addition to having a not empty on push and then pushing one thing we push something we uh, remove it we push another thing we remove it. It is actually a good thing to test where you empty uh, collection out completely and then put stuff in it again because there are some subtle errors that can happen there and then push two things and make sure they come off in the right order and then a little test that pushes a hundred things on and then make sure that those come off in the right order and the word reverse here is significant because we have the stack is LIFO and so we are pulling things off in reverse order turns out that if we run this test we get a green bar. So I took these tests and I basically copied them and adjusted things for a queue. So I have my before that makes the queue for me. I check to make sure it's empty when we create it. I enqueue one thing, make sure it's not empty. Enqueue it, make sure it's there. Now when I, so I do an enqueue, pull it off, and another enqueue and pull it off. When I do two in a row, the orders changed because the first thing that should come off is the 5 not the 55 because this is a FIFO data structure and then I do the test with a hundred here and it should uh, go through and notice there is no reverse in here I have a print statement in this though and the reason for that is because well there's an error I get a red bar here we mess something up in the array queue. So it turns out that if this number is say five, everything's happy. Okay, all of our elements come off appropriately. But if it's 15, they don't. And the difference of course between five and 15 is the fact that our original array has 10 elements, so we had to grow. So something in this growing code is incorrect. So our, our tests has helped us to narrow this down. Of course, this was the one part of the code that we were worried about where we could mess something up. Uh, this is actually a fairly subtle bug in here. Um, in many ways, it looks like all the logic is, is correct. Uh, all the values, we're setting front to zero, that's correct. We're setting back to data dot length, that's correct. The offset here for how we store the data into temp, that's correct. The problem is actually order. This line is not correct, given that we ran this line before it, okay? I'm using data here, but I changed what data refers to. I made data refer to the big array here, so this is referring to the very end of our queue, and that causes some problems. We need to move that down so that we adjust front and back before we refer to our new array. And then we can come over here, and we got a green bar on 15, let's go ahead and let's remove the print statement. Let's adjust this up to 100 and green bar. Okay, obviously there's more that we can test here. These are not quite complete tests, but they're, they're enough to make me feel reasonably confident. It's a good exercise for the student to think about what additional things could be tested in here to make sure that everything works in our implementation.